Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So today's topic is overflow flag in H the five one. In previous video, we have discussed the program status word PSW of H the five one, and in that PSW, we have seen overflow flag. So what's the use of overflow flag when there is a carry flag in a program status word? So we know the carry flag is used to detect the error or the extra bit which is generated in arithmetic and the logical operations. And suppose if a generated result is out of eight bit, then carry flag is generated. So carry flag is usually uh, used to detect the errors in unsigned arithmetic operations. Whereas overflow flag is set whenever the result of a signed number operation is too large. So overflow flag is used for the signed numbers. So in number system, there are two types of number: unsigned number and signed numbers. Unsigned numbers are by default positive numbers, and signed numbers are used to represent positive as well as negative numbers. So accordingly, the range for the unsigned numbers is from 0 to 255, when there is a 8 bits to represent any number. So using 8 bit, you can represent from 0 to 255, and using same number of bits in unsigned number in signed numbers, you can represent from minus 128 to positive 127. So, in unsigned numbers, all numbers are positive numbers. They are by default positive. So, in unsigned number, if magnitude is 8, suppose there are 8 bit. So, using 8 bit, you can represent 256 numbers. The range starts from 0 and ends to 255. So, likewise, Using 8 bit, you can represent from all zeros to all ones, 256 numbers. So, this is the range for unsigned numbers. In signed numbers, uh, out of 8 bit, MSB is used for representing whether a number is positive or a negative number. And uh, if you skip the MSP that is one bit the rest seven bits are used to represent the numbers so suppose when your s is zero or MSP is zero it is a positive number and suppose if your MSP is one your number is a negative number so rest seven bits seven magnitudes are used to represent your number so two less to seven is equals to 128 so you can represent 128 number using those 7 bits using 7 bits uh, we can represent 128 numbers so we can represent 128 negative numbers and 128 positive number so when numbers are positive the range for positive number is 0 to 127 so these are the 128 positive numbers and for negative number the range is from minus 1 to minus 128 so this is the range for positive number and for positive number if you see if you notice the msb is always power, always 0 and the rest 7 bits are moving from all zeros to all ones likewise we can represent 0 to 127 so these are the positive numbers for negative numbers a range starts from 80 and ends with ff so here if you notice msb is one always and the rest seven bits are used to a negative number so for msb is equal to one rest 7 bits are all zeros to all ones so this is the range for negative number and so accordingly you can see how the numbers are moving so first it starts with a 0 to 127 and after 127 it directly goes to minus 128 so after the 7f the number which comes after 7f is 80 
but 80 is representing minus 128 not minus 1 so what's the use of work 2's complement here suppose this is the number so what is the number actually so you at looking at msp we can say it's a negative number it's a definitely a negative number and looking at uh, rest 7 bits we can say that it's a 3 so it should be negative 3 or minus 3 but what if if we if we have another number and looking at msp we can conclude that it's a negative number but looking at the 7 bits 7 other bits it's a 0 it shows it's a 0 so is it possible that we have negative 0 no obviously it's not possible so there is no concept like uh, negative 0 so sign number is not completely used to represent negative numbers for that we use a two's complement so two's complement is a universal method to store a negative number so two's complement of zero is always zero so how can we find a two's complement of any number suppose uh, there is a number so for that number if we want to find out the two's complement there is a shortcut we have to copy that number as it is from the right side till we get the first one and after one we have to complement all the numbers so suppose uh, this is the number we have so from the right we have to start so we have to copy all those bits as it is till we get first one and after one we have to complement each and every bit like this so this is the two's complement of the previous number so how this two's complement is used in overflow flag so overflow flag is set whenever there is a carry out of bit 6 or out of bit 7 okay but that carry should not be at both the bits bit 6 or bit 7 Okay. The processor will come to know whether there is an overflow flag or not using one formula. So one formula is used by the processor which is overflow flag is equals to if there is a carry flag, if there is a carry from bit 7 and XOR, if there is a carry from bit 6. Suppose an accumulator if there is a carry from bit 6 or from bit 7, overflow flag is always set. But uh, there should not be carry from both the bits, from bit 7 or the bit 6. So this is a table basically used and this is the output when overflow flag is set and these two inputs are the carry from, carry from bit 7 carry from bit 6 if there is a carry from either one of these two bits from 6 or 7 overflow flag is set if there is a carry from both the bits carry flag overflow flag doesn't get set so we know for sign number 8 bit sign number the range is from minus 128 to positive 127 so suppose after arithmetic calculation any number falls out of this range overflow flag should be set okay and uh, if there is a number outside this range we cannot represent this number using 8 bit as a sign number so let's add minus 3 and minus 2, 126 so we know when we add minus 3 and minus 126 we get a result minus 129 which falls out of this range so using 8 bit sign number we cannot represent minus 129 so let's see what happens actually and how overflow flag is generated so minus 3 and minus 126 if you convert it into two's complement we get this number and if we add it we get 
this result okay so if you look at the msb there is a generation of a carry carry bit is generated at 7th bit so obviously there is a carry there is only carry generated from 7th bit you can say that the overflow flag is 1 so obviously the this result is out of this range and that's why overflow flag is set if we look at the another example if we try to add minus 4 and minus 124 so obviously minus 4 and minus 124 we get minus 128 and it's in the range so if you convert these two numbers into two's complement so these are the two's complement the representation of minus 4 and minus 124 and if we add this so we get this result along with this carry if you look at the carry you can see there is a carry generation from bit 6 and bit 7 so two carries so carry carries carry is generated from bit 6 and bit 7 and which providing you a result minus 128 which is within the range but since the carry is generated from bit 7 and bit 6 overflow flag is not set it is zero by the formula which we have seen in the previous slide I hope the concept of the overflow flag is clear to you all and if you really like, like the video please do subscribe the channel.